When we think about frontline workers, we often think about people who work with people. But what about animals? As Chris Conti learned, pandemic stress is pushing veterinarians to their limits. No adventure too big for a dog this small. You're very cute. For Frank, the Chihuahua pug mix, size never mattered much. More about the joy he brought to Lindsey Cohen's life the day he was adopted back in 2015. I had been looking for a small dog and Frank came into the Seattle animal shelter. Um, they didn't know much about him. The Seattle resident quickly found out Frank was up for as much adventure as she was. A perfect pair, especially as the world began to close down because of COVID. Having this constant and having an animal who will love you unconditionally was such an important part of getting through the pandemic for me. Lindsay always knew that her senior dog had some health issues that just seemed to get worse as the pandemic dragged on. There was so much uncertainty in the world and I just, you know, had really hoped that we could hold on to him as long as we could. Then one day, a few weeks before Christmas, Frank was gone. We took him to the emergency vet and he, um, as soon as they took him in, he, he died like in the ER. And so um, it was really hard. Um, it was really hard. For pet owners around the country like Lindsay, this kind of loss has felt particularly painful given how isolating COVID has been. Everything changed in the pandemic. And so losing something you care for and cherish and love so much just I think compounds that grief. That loss, it's just, it's felt so much greater. The, the the emptiness at home that people feel. As a veterinary social worker, Christina Malloy is seeing families struggle more recently with the loss of a pet, so much so that she now is running a pet loss support group. A lot of what I do is I validate the feelings that people are experiencing. I validate that grief, but it is real. Veterinary doctors, nurses and staff are also having a tough time. People that work in this field are really passionate about what they do. There's a lot of empathy involved with every single family that comes in. Vet clinics across the country are seeing increased demand because so many people have adopted dogs during COVID. There's an estimated shortage of nearly 7,000 veterinarians in the U.S. They are suffering from fatigue, depression and burnout. Veterinarians also face a higher rate of suicide compared to other professions. Latest numbers from the CDC show nearly 400 veterinarians died by suicide between 1979 and 2015. I'm just here for our staff to have a place to use their voice. Back in Seattle, it's not all tears for Lindsay Cohen. Oh my God, he's a two-hander as I do. Oh my goodness. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi. A few weeks after losing Frank, some friends gently nudged Lindsay to try fostering. He was um, rescued off the streets of Tijuana. That is how she ended up with Otis. After two weeks in foster care, he became Lindsay's permanent bump companion. It. Otis, bump it. Yeah, good bump it. I was not ready to keep this dog. It was so soon after Frank had passed away, but so many people had met him, seen videos and said, this is a wonderful dog. And while her heart still aches for the dog she lost, she has found a new friend to help her move forward. These are these kids. These are an kids. For The Race, I'm Chris Conti. The group helping frontline workers take care of their mental health, next on The Race.